Gary Goldstein at CMO Club, and I'm sitting with Ian Rowden uh, and, uh, at the, from the Version Group. Pleasure to be with you. Gary, great to be here. Thank you. What are some of your key initiatives and, and, and challenges and opportunities as you see it going into 2014? Well, one of the things about the Virgin Group is it's such an eclectic group, right? So we, we have businesses that span everything from financial services to health and fitness to travel and leisure, tourism, you know, high-end resorts, entertainment, music, radio. So we've always got a variety of challenges. It doesn't matter which way you cut it. Um, the other side of that, though, is that we are diversified enough so that we, we can kind of balance the portfolio around the world. Our biggest challenge is that we are a very UK-centric brand, given the, the heritage and the DNA and, and Richard being, being British. Um, and as you build a brand around the world, it's, it's creating a footprint that has consistency and has a way to connect in every culture and across you know, all of the demographics and psychographics that you want to build a business around. What's one of the initiatives you're working on that's most exciting to you now? Well, we've got a couple. Uh, we are preparing to open our first hotel here in the United States in Chicago uh, around the middle of 2014. So that's very exciting. I think the, the chance to take our brand into a sort of four plus star, contemporary, um, very cool environment with the, with the way in which we're going to come at the, the hotel business and the way in which we're going to think through how we treat our customers is really unique. So that's exciting. Um, but I think the, the biggest one on our plate at the moment um, would be undoubtedly Virgin Galactic, which is our, yeah. our space tourism business, which again, uh, you know, all things going the way they should is only a little over a year away. So hopefully... I'm, uh, hear I'm hearing rumblings that we're getting close. We're getting very close. Yeah. Having said that, there is an eternal set of tests you have to go through, which is just part of the process. And so every time we, we jump a hurdle, we get over that, that's great, but then there's another one immediately behind it. But things are on track and we've got an incredible team of people and uh, we're all very excited. What would be uh, some piece of wisdom, some golden nugget that you might share with your peers out in the world? You know, Gary, it's, it's a really interesting time, as, as we've said a number of occasions in this discussion. Um, I think for marketers right now, th there's a tendency towards sort of a lot of introspection and a lot of questioning about what marketing is and what marketers do and what role marketers play. And I think we should never lose sight of the fact that one of the primary reasons that, that marketers are in businesses is to understand how to create commerce through humanity. And the only way you can create commerce through humanity is to understand the people who are gonna buy the stuff that you create better than anybody else in any business can. So we need to stop thinking about what's our role as marketers versus financial people or versus technical people or IT people or technology people and start concentrating on how to understand how to build brands that create loyalty beyond reason, businesses that can grow revenue and profit in a way that is driven by consumers being compelled to step up on more occasions, spend more money and feel good about doing that. And the only way you do that is to be really compelling from not just a rational point of view, but from an emotional point of view. And the only way you're going to be compelling from an emotional point of view today is to be prepared to let go because consumers get it. What they want is they want businesses and they want brands to be brave enough to let them decide what is right for them and for them to control that dialogue. And as marketers, we've got to be prepared to create ideas, to do things that, that compel people, excite people, engage people, motivate people, entice people in a way that we haven't had to do in the past. And we have to do that with a degree of freedom that allows us to be confident enough to let our actions be created, to create great stories, and to let them play out and be comfortable with that. And while we do that, we've got to manage the house we live in, which is to say to our peers, and our bosses, our CEOs and our presidents who don't quite understand this world the way we do, if we understand consumers the way we should, 
that this is the way of the future and this is the way we're going to operate and you need to let us ride and you need to let us run right now. And there's not enough marketers that I see that are brave enough to do that. They're very much on the back foot. So I would say be brave, be storytellers, be fascinating and be intriguing to people. Excellent words of wisdom.